Military Makeover is brought to you in part by ADT. We help protect what matters most. And in part by NBKC Bank. Live boldly, bank simply. It all began here almost 30 years ago. I've been asked to speak to a local group of school kids about leadership and how to overcome obstacles to success. And at the time, I was near the end of my 22-year military career, a career that had started as a Marine Corps enlisted man and finished as a Naval officer. Starting with those students right here in Kansas City, I found a way to use my voice and my experience to inspire and to motivate. I've been speaking out ever since. Now another chapter starts right here today. I'm back in Kansas City, and I'm the new recruit to a team that has a fantastic and unbelievable mission, touching the lives of deserving military veterans and their families. Welcome to Military Makeover. There's no more worthy of cause than to give back to veterans who have sacrificed so much for all of us. And we're gonna do that today by giving a home makeover to former Air Force Sergeant Matt Moyers and his family. Matt loved his job in the Air Force and had committed to making it his career. His dream was ended by both physical and mental injury. Severe back trauma caused by herniated disc, numbness, and pain in his legs from his damaged spine. Add to that a badly reattached severed bicep tendon. This litany of debilitating injuries was compounded by psychological traumas that turned Matt suicidal. Jennifer and Art had a chance to visit Matt and Rachel to begin to get some insight, not only into their home, but into the dramatic impact that Matt's service has had on he and his family. Okay, so let's talk kitchen here. You probably would wish for something more. More storage, places that I can make this not look so cluttered. Okay, I'm gonna make him go first. What colors would you want to see in the home? Lime green. Oh. Are you giving me real answers? No, he's oh, not. Matt. You never let him go first. I'm going like this, Matt. Oh. I'm ready. Oh, you got lies. a sad face. I wrote lies. <laughs> I'm now going to ask your wife what color she would choose. Blues. I like blue colors. My shirt's one yes. of my favorite colors. <laughs> OK. All right, Matt. So I never thought I'd say this, but Thanks for having me in your bedroom. <laughs> You're welcome. That's a little weird. <laughs> Decent sized master bedroom, right? And a lot of architectural details like this ceiling thing. I, okay. I love our feature. That's right. one of my favorite things about it. Right. And I love that our bed fits. What would you do to it? Tassels. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about how the bathroom is too tight and too small. Yeah, so look, even the doorway, this is not even a standard size. And then, um, and then the toilet's set back in a window almost. Right, right. And, it, and it's not even wide enough to fit a normal human in there. There is a design solution we'll figure out. I don't know what it is yet. So looking down here, it's a multifunction space. The taller desk is his desk, mm -hmm. which is where he does all the wood burning. What made you go into wood burning? I was not able to move around a whole lot. I found a burning pin that my mom had given me years ago, and I just picked it up and started playing. And actually, one of the first ones I did is sitting over there, and it was relaxing, and it, yeah. it took all my focus, and I didn't feel so useless. And a lot of times, the kids would be watching their shows while I'm sitting down here uh, burning. NBKC Bank, 
working with Military Makeover to transform the home of a young hero. Helping homeless veterans through the Veterans Community Project. Finding ways to give back to those who have sacrificed so much for all of us. NBKC Bank, proudly serving our country's veterans as a top VA lender. Unity Village for the Mental Health and Wellness Restorative Weekend with Caregivers on the Home Front. This should be a reminder, and I hope that you put your vision boards where you can see them on a daily basis, to remind yourself of the things that you love to do and of the things that you want to do for yourself. What a caregiver is, is someone who is taking care of their disabled veteran. So Caregivers on the Home Front takes care of those caregivers that are taking care of their veteran. I'm here at the Unity Village where the ladies of the Caregivers on the Home Front are having their first annual retreat. Let's take a look. Hi, ladies. Hi. How you doing? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Montel, nice you. to meet you. I know you are. Oh my gosh. I've seen this guy before. It's Montel Williams. Why don't you guys tell me what's going on? This seems so interesting. These are our the, vision the boards. Yeah. <laughs> All of us here are spouses of veterans who are wounded, whether that be physical, mental, things that you can see or not see, or both. And what we really want people to see is when they see a veteran, they see the family member behind that. And so so many times they don't see the family member. They, they don't only see, see don't the They don't recognize vet. how much you do yes. to support and sure that family member. You're exactly right. right. This is a group of really dedicated people who are there to help each other navigate the whole experience of providing care to another human being. We often do lose ourselves in the process of taking care of our families and so this is to kind of remind ourselves of the things that we love and the things that we want for us. I understand this so much. Very recently I went through a very traumatic brain injury and my wife could be standing here with you. Yes. Yep. And, oh, Cause She's lost herself mm -hmm. in taking care of me. She is probably feeling so fearful of possibly almost losing you. Correct. And she's still feeling fearful Absolutely. that they, that may happen. And when no one sees her, she has nowhere to go with that. Right. Yeah. Um, and and so. nobody recognizes the fact that she's a little tired. Mm -hmm. She's still Definitely. tired from the fact that she didn't sleep for 40 yep. days. Yep. And right. she's still moving yep. forward. Yep. She's right. still taking yep. those right. steps to keep going and holding it all down. With me. <laughs> <laughs> we know it's incredibly rewarding to be able to meet him and to hear his story and how he actually connects with us from his um, personal struggles and how his how he can see his wife in all of us and that that's our message is that really we're all we all have similarities and we all need to support each other and just kind of hone in on those similarities and be there for each other Montel is meeting Rachel and the caregivers on the home front. I'm diving into demolition. Jen has a vision and my mission is to accomplish it if I can. My name is Bill Huffman. I work for J-Dog. I was in the Air Force, retired. J-Dog's overall mission is simply to put veterans to work, give an opportunity for veterans uh, to come back and start their own business and be an entrepreneur. I personally didn't serve, but it's very rewarding when I walk up to a job with two or three veterans side by side, you know, get in there and, and tackle the job and, and live our values of respect, integrity, and trust. And they're calling us and scheduling an appointment with me based on the solely the fact that they want to do business with a veteran-owned and operated business. 
we're up for the challenge and glad to help out um, you know, this veteran family. J-Dog's mission is one of our biggest makeover challenges, moving the family's belongings out of their house so we can do the remodel. Add to that, we need a partner to manage those belongings and provide the family with clean, easy access to storage. Enter our next partner, Storage Mart. They understood the need. Combining family business ideals with the promise of easy, clean storage and great service. Exactly what we're looking for. Turndown service brought to you by ADT, a smart home with 24 7 protection designed and installed just for you. Today we're here, here at Smithville Lake. I'm just doing a little bit of fishing, spending some time with family, uh, you know, unwinding after the work week. All right, so Discount Tire has decided to donate new tires and rims for Matt's truck. So I'm gonna go meet him at the local lake here in Smithville and we're gonna take away his truck for the day. He's gonna drive this truck, and we're gonna bring him back with brand new tires and wheels on there. Hey kids, how are you? You got your little minnows there? Well, you're probably wondering why in the world would I wanna meet you all the way out here? I was curious. Yeah, <laughs> well, I wanted to watch you fish, because that's exciting. Absolutely, it's <laughs> like the Golf Channel. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> but seriously, what I would like to do is give you the keys to my vehicle, and I would like to take your vehicle on a little joy ride today. You mind if I do that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you, don't, you don't seem to convince well, that is, I drive Is yours car. insured? Yeah, total, totally full cover. Kids, we're going mudding. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take your truck and um, you know, do something a little special. Uh, when I found out that y'all were taking my truck, uh, I was a little surprised. I'm a little curious and a little terrified. Hey, Trent. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good to meet you, man. Yes, hey, nice to thanks meet you. for doing this. I want to check out the whole shop and see what you got going on. Here. Absolutely, yeah. So this is where the magic happens, right? It is, it is. We're so thankful uh, that you guys really stepped up to want to help Matt. What exactly are we doing for him? Because, you know, obviously we want to have safety, yep. performance, yep. Uh, you know, a better ride on the truck. All of those things are going to be accomplished today? Absolutely, yeah. We know he fishes. We know he goes off-road. Um, so the tire has amazing off-road capabilities. Right. Um, very good. I heard he does a lot of highway, freeway driving as well. Yes. So definitely a smooth, quiet ride as well that this all, uh, ultra terrain uh, delivers. Anything that a customer needs or wants, we're going to make sure we deliver it. Awesome. And, the, right and the actual tire that we're putting on, is that exclusive to Discount Tire? Yeah, that is an exclusive tire to Discount Tire. So something that was built for us um, and something unique that we put together as a company. So. This is obviously where you have everything in stock. So when the average customer comes in, you can get a job done super quick. It's like a pit yeah. crew in here. Yes. Right? Notice anything different? Nice. Compliments of Discount Tire. They heard your story. They could not have been happier to do this. So all four tires, brand new awesome. moto metal wheels. They look fantastic. Yes. Happy? Oh yeah. I gotta tell you, man, I spent some time with your wife this morning. She told you about that, right? 
She did, yes, absolutely. And I, it just it just struck me to the core about the fact that she's knowing what she's been through, put together an organization like what she's put together. I mean, just what do you think of what she's done? Uh, you've saved my life. You've absolutely saved my life, uh, hands down. Um, more than once, you've been there for me. And um, to, to a degree that can't be, uh, can't be expressed in words. Thank you. I love you. Love you too. Tell us a little bit about what it is you did. I built bombs for a living is what I did. I think my stress really, really came from the thought of being fired on sitting around that much ordnance. You're in a depot with enough rockets red glare to set this whole city on fire. And you're sleeping 50 feet away. It's kind of scary when you're when you're definitely sitting next to, let's say, a 500-pound weapon, and you know you you hear sirens going off. There's still somebody shooting explosives at me while I'm sitting on explosives. You know, I started having some 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 bad nightmares and anxiety when I went to sleep, and that's really when it started when I when I came back from uh, Iraq. There's, there's been several several times where I was uh, willing to take my own life. And I was ready and I was about to do it. I walked around with my note in my pocket for about a week prior to that, saying, you know, describing what I, what I needed done, what I wanted done um, after I'd done it. Depression, anxiety, all those things, PTS, all, they consume you. Um, they, they take control of your life if you're not getting help with it. She kind of started recognizing me. And now one of the things I could say to, to my fellow vets and things that are having problems is she's not in your sh because she doesn't care or that she thinks you're inept or that she thinks that, that you can't do it. She knows you absolutely can do everything. She's in there because she cares. She saw me having problems. She knew I was having problems and she handed me my baby girl. And she handed me my baby girl and I ended up going to sleep that night. I ended up going to sleep in the rocking chair next to the door that I was planning on leaving to go kill myself. And um, that, that next morning I realized, hey, you know what, I gotta get some help. I, can't, I cannot keep doing this. Um, you know, not only am I, uh, you know, I, I was essentially a danger to myself. And, and that was something that, that was very hard for me to realize and come to an ocean too. Can you honestly look me in the face and tell me that it's not better? Oh, it's better. Definitely better. It's better. It absolutely is better. Do I still struggle with it? Absolutely. I struggle with it almost every day. We all struggle. And, um, and, and, and to anybody out there that, that would be interested in, in, in anything, I would ask you that you give me one more breath. When you think you're done, give me one more breath. Do you know what you've just done for so many veterans? Do you really realize just by talking into that camera what you've been able to do, what you've been able to share for so many other military families? Probably not to this magazine. If I said to you that you just tonight changed so many lives, would you believe me? No. But now I'm gonna say to you, Believe me. Do you believe me? I want to. Do you believe me? You have to. You got to, brother. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Rachel, thank you so much for being the example you are. makeover to transform the home of a young hero helping homeless veterans through the veterans community project finding ways to give back to those who have sacrificed so much for all of us nbkc bank 
proudly serving our country's veterans as a top VA lender. Make sure you join us next time as the Moyers Kansas City Military Makeover ramps up to a whole new level. We've got air conditioning, computers, a new bathroom, a new kitchen, TVs, appliances, pies, and dinnerware. Tune in to see it all on the next Military Makeover. Military Makeover is brought to you in part by NBKC Bank.